to have not won it, do you see that as a positive and the progress that you're making? Uh, yeah, definitely. If, if you face the number one of Spain and in an away game and you are that dominant, uh, you can see it as a positive, yeah. I know a lot has been said about Marcus, but does there come a point where others do need to chip in with more goals? He's the only player who scored for you tonight. I know the other one was an own goal, but the attack is very reliant on him still. Yeah, but as, uh, as I said before, I think also other players can score. Bruno, Jaden, uh, 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 they can score as well. Wout, of course, can score as well. And they will score. But um, in, the, in the end, it doesn't matter who score, but we have to score. But if you say in such a game, when you create yeah, maybe five till seven hundred percent chances, yeah, you have to finish that more. Uh, that's quite clear. You, you said before... Sorry, sorry. You said before the game this would show where both clubs maybe were at. Does it show the progress you've made to come to a place like this and no one must win the game? Yes, we should have won this game. And so we have steps to go. But uh, I think it were two good teams, uh, highest level. Uh, it was enjoyable uh, to watch, but I think everyone agrees that it was a really high performance level from both teams. And uh, when I show into my team, yeah, I was really happy uh, with our performance uh, to face this strong team. Could I ask, you had Wout Vegost in the number 10 role. What was the thinking there? Uh, more. It's tactical, um, but also to get um, some other players in, in cool positions. I, I like think the whole friend of front three, like Bruno, Ressi and, um, and Jaden, uh, but also uh, to get a good press on. And I think yeah, the plan broke well. So are you overall proud of your players rather than disappointed that you haven't won the game? Yeah, um, yeah so a little bit more. So uh, the critic is more clinical. Uh, finished chances um, and uh, that is what we didn't do because uh, in such a game uh, we created many chances uh, you can't expect actually but we did uh, and then it's yeah, a little bit disappointment that you didn't score them and I think we should have scored minimum four goals um, tonight and and also I have to make that point I think um, it's a big influence not only on this game but on this um, round uh, um, it was uh, on 2-1 a clear foul on Marcus Rashford and yeah, you can discuss if it's in the box or outside the box but yeah, definitely it's a red card Eric you speak about that situation were you given any clarity on as to why it wasn't a foul and a red card if I want to were you given any clarity from the officials yes, on why it wasn't I, a foul well, and a I, I, card? yeah that's why I, I asked the referee why huh? so he said it was outside the box and was no fall and he said no well I think the linesman and the referee were very good position to see and I think we have to fear so yeah it was uh, I think it's not good it was a really bad decision and I can't understand maybe they were impressed by the pressure Bassa made but that can't be in, uh, on the highest European level Eric you ask your players to be brave before this game, even being brave with passes like Casemiro playing there that cost us the goal in the end. Is that still OK? How much criticism can you give your players when they are playing that way and it does cost us the goal? Ah, but it didn't have nothing to do with, with brave. And the formation is no good and uh, yeah, scanning is obvious also no good. Uh, but it had nothing to do with, with braveness. Uh, I think it's a mistake, and especially from the formation. Would you criticise Casemiro for that mistake? Uh, I think he, he could have done better, but what I say, it's a team. Uh, I talk about formation, so the formation is no good. Uh, and, and that's why um, uh, the, uh, the mistake is coming. Uh, is what one at the back over there? Uh, at the back? Good afternoon, Mr. Uh, Akaba. So you said there was a clear fold and a red card for a Barca player. Probably you've seen an arm in the area that could be considered a penalty. I mean by that that do you believe that the 
uh, the, the, the referee action has been that important but for both teams or only for you? No, you can't see this in that way because the one the situation with Rashford is on 2-1 uh, so the momentum in the game is totally different and I didn't see, I heard uh, it was ball in the hand, can be so then he made two mistakes uh, but um, um, But you can't eagleize such mistakes eh, because the moment in the game, eh, and, and not only in the game, but I say it's in the in the whole round, eh, was an important decision where he was wrong. Okay, we're now going to move on 